Era called the Shadow Era Starter Deck All Star Tweak Master Challenge. That's the short version of the name. And how this is going to work is we've got about 20 players, maybe a few more, and they're going to use starter decks against each other, but only in game one. Now, game two, they then get to tweak that deck by adding in up to 10 cards, well, removing cards or adding in cards from either Call of the Crystals, Dark Prophecies, or Shattered Fates. And then in game three, again, they can make up to 10 changes using uh, you know, any legal cards from those sets. And so on, first of three games wins, the winner stays on, so then they get challenged by the next person from the pool. The next time they fight, it'll be different random starter deck heroes. If I bring up the in-game chat, um, We've got our contestants for this week. We've got Insano Mango and we've got K.A. Lin. I'll just tell them we're alive now. By the way, right, so I'm going to tell them what the heroes are so they can make up the decks. I will now pick your heroes. Ah, random. Right, so I've got this little um, video capture of something from Roll20.net. Uh, I'll roll a d20 live without even needing a physical one. I just type Roll d20 and it will give me a hero. It's giving me hero number 20. Who's hero number 20? Well, let's uh, go back to uh, this other page. Has all the starter decks on it. So here, number twenty is Zaladar. I didn't actually say who was uh, who I was drawing that for. Well, I guess I said before that it was Mango versus the other person. So Mango has Zaladar. And now, uh, what will the other guy get? Let's find out. Go back to the page. So I'll roll another d twenty. And this person has got seventeen. Which, uh, if we check this out, we will see that's Dark Claw. So, Kaylin has Dark Claw. So, those are their starter decks. If they need a reminder of uh, the deck lists, that I can I could try and paste them in the in game chat, but they won't work. I should say at this point that I'm being joined by a very quiet, very patient Bob Ross. Bob Ross, hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, you're not very loud on here. I'll turn you up a bit. Oh, I'll, hey. I'll put my phone a little closer to myself. How's that? Well, I'll turn you down a bit then. <laughs> I've got a bit of a yeah. cough today. Um, so Hi, everybody. It's good to have you back, Bob. Thanks. Yeah, back in the world been, of Shadow been Era. For a little while, so. You, uh, you trolled yourself out a bit, didn't you? You did all that trolling up, and uh, now a bit trolled out. So. Yeah. I'm going to check with those two guys if they know what the deck lists are. I might fire up okay. Telegram for this, actually. Um, Bob, what so do you think my... of the format? Okay, so my little guess right here is that um, Dark Claw is probably at a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, my thoughts are that Zaladar has one of the best abilities in the game. Um, it doesn't really matter what deck you give Zaladar, they're already at an advantage for having that power. And then Dark Claw has this ability that's very niche and tends to require a specialized deck for it. So I'm I'm wondering how well a starter deck that's gonna have like limited amounts of specialized cards is gonna be for Dark Claw, as opposed to you can probably put any number of cards in a Zaladar deck and still have something that's half competitive. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> That's my guess, though, right off. off yeah, off. yeah. Uh, I can. Uh, I'm checking whether the guys know the the deck list to put together. But uh, I can certainly refresh them now for the viewers here. If I just uh, drag this thing across and scroll down a bit on this, there you go. I've revealed it now. So I've got the Dark Claw one. Sh uh, sorry, the Zaladar one showing up now. On the stream, it's not very big. I might be able to zoom it a bit. Aha, right, there we go. So that's the Zalar deck. It's got three Deathbone, two Kaldor, three Infernal Gargoyle, two Medusil, 
two death mage stadius that's a lot of decent three drops we've yeah. got i mean that's already a half competitive deck with the the gargoyles and the Th death mage stadius that's those are standards in a lot of zelladar decks um it's a bit bigger so Right, I've made, I've made it slightly bigger now, so that when I hover over the cards, it will show what they are on, on the stream itself. So, Chimera uh, is a four drop, one of those. Cobra Demon is a two, uh, another four drop, there's two of those. And then Plasma Behemoth, that's a solid uh, 5cc. Let's check. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, Lin was dropping out, wasn't he? Yes. Uh, sorry. Whoops. I forgot who was playing who, you know. Whoops. I forgot that Lin was sitting there. Whoopsie. Well, it's the first one. Okay, I've got a bit of a cold as well, so the brain's not working too great. Um, so it's definitely uh, Mango has Zaladar. So I'll just remind that. And they've got names too similar, haven't they? Leon has Dark Horse. Right. So this is, it's looking like a, a pretty standard, old-fashioned kind of Zaladar deck. The, the things that are a little odd in there are the Bazaar and Shard of Power mixed with some of those... Uh, allies it seems like it's kind of a mix of different styles of zaladar decks together well so, it, it's it's inspired by uh raf majer's original 30 card uh zaladar obviously this has to be 40 and also there's a limit on certain cards that we can add in start decks we yeah. didn't put anything up to four uh, but right. obviously, since elementals struggle with draw, that's why it's got the bizarre shard of yeah. power is more for uh, possibly a big uh, burst of damage. I wouldn't put it down early, but I'd play it as a surprise factor to, in the similar way that you might do bloodlust. Sure, it, it, it'll be interesting against dark claw because that can easily backfire pretty well if they. You know, they'll get one good attack, yeah. but uh, those things will die to the weapons that like, Dark Claw has. And you can uh, surprise melt melt it down as well, so that could depend on you being on one health, then melt it down, get two yeah. cards. Uh, transference is just to kind of annoy people a bit. You've got the three mind controls in there. I didn't quite go through the full list, did I? Shriek of Vengeance, a bit of a tech card. Two transference, one meltdown. Two Soul Reaper, that could be used for one Bloodlust, yep. one Acid Jet, another tech card, two Shadow Font, that's just to get your ability off again, Energy Discharge, one of those, three Mind Control, one Eternal Renewal, uh, yeah. three Bazaar, two Shadow Power, one Dimension Ripper. Let's have a look at Dark Claw now. Um, so it, it looks like a good way to like showcase some of the cool things that, that um, Elementals can do. For sure. When I try, when I put these together, yeah, that was part of the plan. Showcase them, have have them with different feel. Um, Dark Claw. This is a uh, ally-driven Dark Claw, but it's still got elements of the classic uh, Ninja one. Um, so we've got two Pack Wolf. So he's actually got two drops here, where the other one started off at three drops. Um, two Infernal Gargoyle, three Bad Wolf, two Death Mage Thaddeus, uh, and that's the three drops done. Uh, Wolven Tracker, there's two of those. Interesting choice. Um, yeah. And for, for the draw, and two Shadow Knight to recycle uh, cards and to be just very scary. Um, Shriek of Vengeance, one of those. Three, now you're mine. Two, Rain Delay. Uh, two, Captured Prey. Three, Speed Strike. Uh, two, Full Moon. One, Rabid Bite. One, Lone Wolf. One, 
to shadow font and then we go to the items obviously you need some weapons he's got two bazaar which isn't a weapon but maybe it'll help him find one uh, three of what big teeth two jewelers dream and a partridge in a pear tree now one fangs of the predator okay so that's not so the six weapon there is about as few weapons as you could have in a weapon hero's deck but it's enough but he's got the 13 so, allies so early on yeah. i'd be i'd be dropping the allies down because really you want to be saving up the um, shadow energy ready to do like multiple turns of hitting twice with mm -hmm. speed strike. So I mean, Yeah, we got the three speed strikes, which is important for, for uh, Dark Claw. And the full moons are, are a great, one of the great uh, woven cards. And we got all the nice uh, cheap control that they get to the ally control. Now you're mine and captured prey. So yeah, it looks like a like a pretty solid, if not you know tuned, uh, the way that you would at a competitive level kind of deck. Yeah, maybe the uh, first round uh, might might be in Zaladar's favor, but once you can add ten cards or switch bits around, you never know. Depends how they mm -hmm. tweak it. Um, so I'm gonna check with the players to see if they're they're ready now. Um, I'm work, remind myself how to hide these things. Uh, are you guys ready? <coughs> Apologies for the uh, cough. <coughs> I should apologise to myself because I caught it and I really regret catching this cough off my daughter. That's winter for you. Yeah. I work with kids. I had like three colds in a row. It was awful. Uh, is Leon ready? Ah, oh, they're both ready. They're both ready. Cool, cool, cool. <coughs> so, who can make... Yes, it's random. It's random. Who starts? Game one. Uh, so, Mango can create. And me and Bob will hop in and watch. Um... Yeah, I guess game two will be the other person starts. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Let's go to the challenge screen. If we're not already there, here we go. It's going to be an unrated game. It's cool. I've been looking forward to this since I had the idea of uh, running such a thing. So we get to check out yeah, starter fun. decks. We get to see what people add. We get to speculate what they might add while they have their five minutes to add as well. So that's kind of cool. So even in the dead time, we've got something to, to cover. And uh, afterwards, yeah. when you watch it, uh, when I export to YouTube or even live on the stream, you can be giving your own opinions on what might be added and so on. So it's a good format yeah. for, I think, kind of interactivity and so on. Sure. And when my stream starts up and I watch it, I will have to mute it very quickly. I just want to check it's all coming out okay. Oh, it's already muted. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Right, I want to see if anybody's in the chat room, see? Hello, world. That's what people type sometimes. If you're making a computer, the first computer program you write in any language has to say, hello, world. That's yep, just the rules. Yep. Um, Mango's there waiting. Not yet shown up. The other guy. Still waiting. <clears throat> it's Friday night here in the UK. I could be not sleeping because it's like quarter past eight. Probably watching TV. I could be trying to battle with the kids to get them in bed. So <laughs> it's a no brainer what to do, isn't it, really? Yeah, this is definitely nicer than that. It's only like uh, 3 p.m. over here. All right, so you could be having like afternoon tea. You yeah, still could. You still could help yourself to tea if you want. <laughs> uh, we're in America here. We do. We drink other liquids. The liquid. game's gone missing. It was there before, and now it's not there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they're keeping us waiting.
So, yeah, undoubtedly, Zaladar has the better ability on paper, on a, on its own, because it works just always. Yeah. Uh, you don't I mean, need a weapon to take advantage. Dark Claw has only occasionally been tier one, so... And, you know, I, I think you can probably still make a good Dark Claw deck, though. Um, Where have they gone? Yeah. I'm wondering, I'm trying to think if there's... Oh, wait a minute, there. Leon's not made the deck. <laughs> uh, there you go. <coughs> That's why. I'm wondering if there's a way to tech Dark Claw against Zaladar. That's what I'm thinking about right now. Or is there a way to make it so that Zaladar doesn't stand a chance against Dark Claw? Hmm. Uh, so manga, while, so. Uh, I can actually open this deck up for him and try and paste it there actually okay uh i don't know if it'll paste the whole thing mangoes they're waiting for him here uh <laughs> shut it right that's the part uh, let's see it might be too long uh oh no it did go on and ding dong dang there. All right. Type that in. I didn't actually know how that would work. I thought it would uh, bomb out. I just put that in the in-game chat. Nice. See you on there, right? So, a few teething problems at the start of this series, um, but it'll all be worth it. The deck's up. The, the game's up again. Waiting. Hopefully, Leon can sort it out. I thought he knew the rules. Uh, yeah, maybe he just didn't have the deck list set. It takes a little oh, time. Oh, right. So, yeah, he thought he could just load it up. But, yeah, unfortunately, you can't load it unless you bought it. And even then, if you bought it, you might have used up one of your slots. I think there should just be a way to always bring up the starter deck, just so uh, my streams go more smoothly. That's a feature mm. worth adding. Or... Or maybe we start the stream a little bit later after they've already got it all loaded up and ready to go. Next time. Uh, well, I thought we could speculate about the matchup while they were doing it, which we kind of have done. Mm -hmm. We just yeah. thought we were, we thought they were ready sooner than they than they actually were ready. So I guess we'll be so, we'll be all right. We'll be all so right. I'll, I'll do some speculating here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, okay. Let's, okay. Let's, let's think. So Zaladar's big tweak that he's going to want to do is going to be to either fix draw in a way that makes more sense and go for like a regular discard Zaladar or to double down on the Bazaar and go with a rush kind of deck and then want to be doing uh, haste allies. That's kind of what I would see as Zaladar's approach. Right, so right. A, when he gets right? access to haste allies, yeah, yeah. So I would, I would be hoping to go in either of those directions with Zaladar. With um, Dark Claw, I'm gonna say I would want to double down on some of the better weapons, the Jeweler's Dream, and maybe some one or two other weapons, and then fix draw a bit. And I don't know. Well, you could probably get a like a wrath of the forest in there. Maybe get a few more allies. Um, mm. Then you'll you'll get a reasonable stream of uh, draw coming. Bit so, of I mean, blocking. he's already got a good amount of allies. Yeah, maybe fix the allies a bit. Uh, make it a little bit more of a specific kind of deck. Uh, uh, he's got about a couple of allies. Let's see. What what will. Uh, See as they go. If we look at um, the access to, say, uh, attachments for Dark Claw, I've not got it showing up on the on the stream at the moment. But there's one. Is it Thick Hide? No. Ability damage to a hero on your turns reduced to zero. Well, that's no use then. Isn't it? <laughs> that's no use to anybody. That card. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's why nobody ever uses it. Maybe in Lost Lands Part uh, 2, it will become more useful to people. Um, what can he do, uh, though? 
Are they up yet? No, they're not up yet. Let's see. What would be good for Dark Claw against an ally heavy? Uh, hmm. He doesn't have that many cards to switch, so it's kind of a, a tricky thing. Yeah. Do you just uh, maximize certain ones, or do you, um, yeah, swap them out entirely? Uh, you know what? Dreadwolf would be a good change. Um, Dreadwolf tends to hasty, go really nicely. Hasty, hasty, yeah. Oh, dude, um, he's not joined he, again. So that might be a nice ally to sub in there. Um, kind of thing. Leon the Barbarian usually uses Boris. He did pretty mm -hmm. well with Boris in the World Championships. That's what makes him one of our all stars. Because he, okay. he did well with, with Boris. He's a relative unknown Leon the Barbarian, but he did a great performance with Boris. So I think it was Boris. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was actually um, Terradun. It was definitely a warrior anyway. I'd be willing to bet at least um, one Shadow Crystal on that. It's been a while. It was last year. 2016. <laughs> so, yeah. long time. Where is our... got six viewers now. Hello, viewers. How's it going? We're almost ready to start. You've joined late, but don't worry, because we haven't got rolling yet. It's going to be yeah. Zaladar versus Dark Claw. Battle of the uh, heavyweights. The, uh... Wow, well, Zaladar, he's everywhere. He's, he's the everyman, but he's not a man. It's Zaladar! And Dark Claw, he's the um, what is he? He's the wolf in wolf's clothing. Well, wolf in wolven's clothing. It's Dark Claw. Who will win? Uh, come on, dude. Where are you? So we're still waiting at the really moment. Played enough Dark Claw. I'm trying to think what what else would be good here for him. Um. I mean, I guess you're just getting closer to a pure weapon deck. Those are the ones that tend to, or the weapon and haste allies tend to kill pretty well. Well, I I would pick out some solid um, woven class cards that can help out. Mm. Like how about the old blood pack shaman? You go for a more early uh, rush. So he's a yeah. two drop three one. He brings back other woven. So, yeah, um, so maybe the woven the shaman, shaman and the, the hasty woven as well. Yeah, that dread wolf and blood pack shaman. Suddenly, you've got quite a quite a quick deck there. Here's here's another thought with this. You know, we talked about how Zaladar could go either way. We could either double down on the haste and uh, the, use the Bazaar's draw, and and then you'd also be using uh, bad Santas. If yeah. Zaladar goes that way. Then Dreadclaw could actually ditch draw altogether. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, but he he'll probably swap out the bazaars for blood moons. It's one of his yeah, changes. Yeah, definitely go with a blood moon or two, or or maybe you know aim for four blood moons. But you could actually go light on draw and just count on Zaladar bringing bilateral draw. Yeah. Um, just hope for that because if by, if Zaladar zags instead and goes with the. Uh, discard theme but it won't be a great discard theme it'll be kind of a weak discard theme um then uh then dreadclaw would be screwed in that case but it'd still be an interesting choice um so yeah you could you could swap out some of those uh bazaars and stuff for or bazaars you could swap them out for uh blood pack shamans and uh blood moons that'd be interesting Lithian Sledgehammer is a good one for a Dark yeah. Core. If you can get up to the six. I think you want like one of them or two, maybe. You don't want a lot. Um, uh, what else? Some kind of life gain could be okay. Um, yeah. We look at kind of shadow cards he might want to add in. 
Uh, Furry and Terror is actually not a bad one. Uh, if you're dropping some uh, allies, as in removing them from the deck, you can be running that Furry and Terror to get everyone to take two damage, and then you can finish them off with Dark Claw's weapon. So that and maybe a contaminated mm. water or something, or I'd quite a nice dark claw that had Ogloth the glutton in. That worked, all right. Um, yeah, so Mango's a... still there waiting. I'm still waiting here. Uh, sack lamb's an option as well for draw, isn't it? Got a lot of allies to get rid of. Yeah, that should that could work for either of the the two decks, right? Both ally heavy. Some cool things. We'll have to see what they what they come up with. Mm -hmm. And Leon said he'll be just a minute. Cool. Just just one minute. Just one. That's all right then. Start the clock. One minute. What pre-made deck comes with most rares besides the one that costs 1,000 gems? What pre-made deck? Gems? Someone's trying to get the most money out of their uh, deck. <coughs> kind of, kind of the most like rares? Actually, actually, yeah, some, some come with more rares than others. Um, yeah. I'll look, I'll look it up. I'll look it up for him. <laughs> While we wait. We're just doing chat support now. <laughs> Why not, hey? Well, maybe our viewers might care. Um, huh? I know there's, there's like, stuff in the forums about how to make the most out of your... Right, well, system. Boris only has two. Amber has three. Victor has five. Gwen has three. Nish has three. Uh, Aladwin has two. Jericho has two. Um, Zana, four. What was the highest so far? Somebody had five, didn't they? Lance, two. Serena, three. So the one that had the most so far was... Was it Xana? No, Victor. Victor. Definitely go with Victor then. Five rares. If you're, if you're a new player, you get a lot, you get more rares, and Victor can do a lot of good stuff with cards. Uh, oh, wow. Terradun has four rares. Well, actually, he has uh, two rares, two epics. Hmm. So that's not bad. Um, Logan. Oh, Logan has five rares. What else? Yep, Bango Oops. has five rares. Maduro has the most of anybody. What? Three, four, five, six, seven. There you go, Maduro. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's probably a good choice then. Either Bad Baduru or uh, Victor, I would do if I'm a new player. Either one of those, you're going to get some good value, and uh, then on top of that, you can have a really good competitive deck for pretty uh, cheap. Ooh, so I don't know. Four. Is Victor different in the current meta? I haven't been keeping up with the meta lately. Uh, Victor's doing well in the current meta. Since yeah. the World Championships was won with him, um, it's quite popular. Right. A lot of the Shadow Heroes have uh, five rares. Or, oh, wow. Right. Elementalist, one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. Oh, there you go. That could be a good one, too. Right. Oh, looks like it started. Right, finally. All right, let's check this out then. Let's jump in. Slightly behind now. Oh no, it, it says two minutes ago, but that's when it was actually created. 
No, Here we no way. go then. Nice. <coughs> get some good sportsmanship up <coughs> I hope you have terrible luck and I win. <laughs> That's the way to do it. So, um, the Dark Claw went first by like things. Hey, remember to uh, put special sleeves on. Yeah, nice. That's an important uh, the, thing. The sleeve Blood advantage. Moon sleeves. Transference, see? Already, see, we've seen a car we wouldn't normally see. What is he yoinked, I wonder? I don't actually see. Whether there's a clue to that or not. Have you noticed in the corner now, Bob, there's a pause. So you can actually pause the action if you want. And the players who are oh, playing at the nice. moment will be frozen in time. <laughs> uh, not quite, but just you'll just be behind. It'll be like you join the game late. But if you're watching one that's finished completely, then yeah, that's kind of cool because you can pause and think and then carry on. So we've got a three drop versus a three drop. A JD yeah, hops down. Go. Nice. Now what's he gonna do here? Oh, he's gonna hit with it. I think get yep, hit with the three. And now he gets us two resources. I don't know if he'll be able to use them, but well, he hopefully, hopefully he will, because that will be, uh, you know, one up for Dark Claw. But no, ah, oh, so one of his special cards from his deck hasn't really done much there. Might as well have been a frying pan, except mm -hmm. he's got th three durability left. But Zalalar goes up, up. Yeah. I mean that's the thing with a with a tuned deck. Then you would you would have like a two drop in your hand, and you'd be able to. <coughs> take advantage oh, there of are a few two drops in there. There's um, These, bizarre, yeah. and okay, rain delay, uh, pack wolf. Okay, there aren't many two drops. It turns out. So and bad man. No, you mind. No, no, no. There's n there's no uh, blood moons in this at the moment, but. Yeah, maybe oh, in game not. two. Okay. Maybe in game two there would be. So, look at this start by Dark Claw, eh? He's doing all right. And that bad wolf is yep, healing up. The, board pretty well. the start of his next turn, yeah, unfortunately. The there you go. Wait a minute. How, how can he have Blood Moon? He's not meant to have changed the deck. He's not meant there to have modified. There. there were two Blood Moons in it. They, no, there can't be. That's what I saw when he showed me the list. There's no, no full sick. moon. It was full moon. Oh, Why, he's messed up now. Uh-oh. Wait, double check before... Where's the... No, it says only has um, Call of the Crystals cards in. So, he, he can't be in the starter. That's invalid. Uh -oh. He's invalidated the whole thing. <coughs> oh, no. <coughs> Oh, what? Uh, so what's he put? What's he put in instead? Invalid game. I'll have to say invalid game. Oh snap! <laughs> <coughs> Dang it! Silly guys. What's he done? I think the rest of the cards were legal, but. Uh, uh, Mango wants to take the win. Does he really want to take the win or not? I mean, it's obvious if you're cheating, isn't it? I don't think he knew. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it really matters. I think <laughs> like, it matters. Is, is is there a prize for this? Yeah, like, yeah, man. Yeah. There's pick a card. Yeah. I'm restricted. Pick a card. And yeah. also, we just want good competition, don't we? Well, maybe you can just give uh, Mango uh, some kind of bonus for being a good sport and, the... and ask him to replay it. Yeah, yeah. Um... Just work that out with him, maybe. Yeah. I think it's... A, I'm, I'm guessing this is just a misunderstanding. Yeah, I think so. 
I, I would prefer to replay it just because Dark Claude needs all the help. He says, Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Wow. That's all. Right, yeah. Well, it's my rules. I rule replay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Leon, can you check? JK, JK, let's do this right. Okay, good, good. Please. Maybe I'll get him on the. Uh, I don't even think he's on Telegram, to be honest. Yeah, okay. just uh, throw him a little extra. Yeah. So anyway, you know, not everything not everything goes uh perfect the first uh time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, so let's let's remind him of uh the list. Okay. Right. Here's here's the list. I could probably uh actually I could check his deck on the um Game logs and tell him what wasn't even legal in it so that he knows what he needs to change. That would be quicker, wouldn't it? Maybe. Yeah, he probably did bad moons instead of full moons. Like, I, I misread that myself. Mistyped. Could have been. There's definitely a few in there that shouldn't be in there. Uh, da, da, da. Let's have a look. What's wrong with this picture? It's not that bad. It's not that far off. Yeah, he just accidentally put blood moon instead of full moon. Yeah, yeah. But I'll have to double check with what I typed there earlier. Let's scroll up. Pack wolf, gargoyle, bar wolf. Yeah, shriek. No, you're mine. Rain delay. Captured prey. Speed strike. Rabbit bite. Lone wolf. Acid jet. Shadow font. It should have been a full moon, but he had a blood moon. So, yeah. Yeah, that was the only difference. Okay, I'll tell you what. If he'd have played that full moon when he had a couple of allies out, then he would have done lots of damage. Yeah. But he might have struggled to have so many allies out with that, all that lovely draw from Blood Moon. Yeah. Easy mistake at the maker. Mm -hmm. uh, if in doubt, remember that all starter decks are all COTC only. <coughs> And that is partly because they're simpler, partly because we will use them for single player campaign as well. So you start out with the kind of oldest cards and as you progress through the campaign, new things come into the story and new cards come into the story. So, you know, the world has been progressing as new sets have come out. So the single player will take you all the way back to when it all started. When Lovely. they got their crystals and so on. Yeah, uh, like a, an actual uh, competition versus the AI is actually a little bit difficult with just the COTC cards. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to um, use those. If you want to, I'll say in quotes, <laughs> cheat, you could buff the decks, but they'll be designed around the idea that you've started with a starter deck and as you progress, you'll earn cards. Uh, so if you want the kind of authentic experience, you will do that as well, even if you've got a playset. But if you just want to storm your way through them, start with any deck you want for that hero. But there are three levels of difficulty on each um, mission, so you probably will need to upgrade the decks for, for the hardest anyway. So maybe everyone will just want to aim for the hardest from the start and bring the most tuned awesomest decks but of course depending on what you face you might need different things in there what if you face like a unkillable horde of uh, trolls or something just loads of trolls all starting on the board 
The game's up. Well, that would be interesting. Let's hop back in and see what happens then. So. Oh, it's that. Cool. Yeah, Mango says, better not see Lithian Sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> you won't see it, it's too fast. You go splat before you see it. Alright, so. I think it's fair to say this Mango really is insane. He's certainly got a insane sense of humour. Yeah. On my wavelength. It's a shame Dark Claw had a good start in that game and now he's not starting this one. Mm. He's going second, but he's going to oh, be able to take advantage of the bazaar. Yeah. But well, not right now because yeah. he's in draw an extra right, yeah. card. Yeah. Ooh. I'd like to discard. Because it's also so quality from the starter deck. Let's yeah. see what he goes for. Oh, nothing to play on turn two yet. It looks like this yeah. is Zaladar's. Right well, now. there aren't that many cheap cards. No, it's all right. I mean, if he's got a lot of good stuff for later, you can start dropping some good stuff. But that Garg's going to be pesky, but maybe a now your mind will do the trick. Yeah, it's true. Scared of now your mind. I kind of like doing a, um, a jeweler's dream then and now your mind later. Okay. Yeah, that might be fun. So he's he can't <coughs> kill off that wolf yet. Unless he plays a oh, demon. That's nice. Nice to see the Cobra Demon. Paying a visit. To Baylor. Here it comes. He's hinting about it. He's waiting for the timing. Here comes the sledgehammer. Kills too easy makes me sad. Oh. Wow. This is a decent Dude. deck to be dropping the Death from Above's into as well. It's got a lot of uh, Wolven. Oh dear, it's poor insane manga. Drive, just drive you him insane. I'll ask him so. There we go. Jeweler's Dream and. Oh. I didn't even view it because I was typing. Going for the Cobra. Yep. And here comes the Now Your Mind, man. Oh, and the old the old Ambush um, bypasses the old Defender. So that's not too bad. And... Yeah. No, oh, it's a Pack Wolf. Now Your Mind. Okay. Interesting. Pack Man. Oh, but sadly, that Zaladar ability now is going to go... Boop, boop, zip, zip. You think it's just going to take out those two guys and that's it? Ah, uh, well. Ooh, nice. Ouchie. Hi, it's down to three resources, though. Yeah, I would. Oh, another carry. Go for this. Perfect. Zaladar's doing great. Right, nice. take out the allies, attack the hero. Yeah, perfect. Not a bad little move there. Good board position. That's good use of um, mm -hmm. the the one shriek of vengeance that's in the deck. Now let's see what Mister um, Mister Darkclaw can do here. Oh, there's a f there's a foily gargoyle in there. I've just noticed. Ooh. That's allowed. That's allowed. All my cards are foiled, so that's totally allowed. Oh man, this is starting to look pretty bad for Dark Claw. Oh well, yeah, Dark Claw doesn't even have board wipe. He's got ways of getting, you know, a, he hasn't yeah. used any Now Your Minds yet. I think he's got three in the deck, hasn't he? Yeah. And he should be able to do uh, a weapon and uh, some kind of control card at the same time. He needs to get some stuff. 
some stuff rolling in. Uh, I'm guessing he's got a plasma behemoth in, in hand or something like that. There's no way that what big teeth can get destroyed now uh, by Zalada. Oh, yeah. So once yeah. that drops, that will just stick. And what big teeth is coming out. Yep. Okay, so yeah, he's using the ability to take, take out, out one of the gargoyles. Yep. Okay, but that's not going to be enough to kill the gargoyle, is it? Yeah, double hit. Oh, yeah, he's got speed strike. Yeah. And then oh, sorry, he can yeah. Go for the Thaddeus. Okay, he's, he's back in it now. Right, and he, if he gets attacked into now, there's going to be three damage instead, so. Yeah. Mm. That's the not too shabby. Is, the problem is he's doing no <coughs> damage so far to Zaladar. It's going to take him a while to start doing damage to Zaladar. We still have mm. to clear the board. Zaladar does have a yeah. lot of allies. He'll be able to just keep chucking them out. And now that carry has hopped down and yeah. turned on his um, uh, controller. So he's going to wear down Dark Claw. He's going to start zapping him with Zaladar's ability. And then by the time. Dark Claw starts hitting on Zaladar. Um, Zaladar is going to be able to uh, heal himself back up to full. <laughs> mm, so if he's kept that card, actually, there's I mean, two. He's got two of them. Yeah. So there's a really good chance that by the time Dark Claw starts wearing him down, he's going to have one in hand and plenty of allies in the grave. It's not a great matchup for poor Dark Claw. Nope. Gonna go for the death nope. Just gotta clear away that gargoyle. It's got it's really three different. to spend that a was. wolf hops down, okay. That wolf should survive. Well, I mean he might have another any number of control cards there, right? Uh Either yeah. Shadow More cards, mind controls, it's true. Mind control. There we go. Shadow font. Okay, so that poor wolf is a goner. Mm hmm. But now he can take out Death Mage Thaddeus with just his regular attacks. And he'll have the board, at least. Yeah, he hasn't even got any regeneration. So the only source of heal he's got is um, Lone Wolf, which is only in there once. And he has and no he's, armor he's either. Deck. So he's right deck for Lone Wolf to work out well either. So it's tough, tough, tough. But you yeah. never know. Let's turn the board now. Mhm. Mm so that's not bad for him. Yeah. Like I said, you know, it's going to take him a while. Saladar can pretty much. Go slowly and still wear him down right now. Hmm. So the Medusa there. Oh, he's yoinked a card. A pesky Medusa. It's probably sitting on a bazaar. <laughs> so is it one game like this and then they get to tech and then they play a second game and then they get to tech yeah between each game, game they can uh, change 10 cards okay cool um in fact they can remove up to 10 and add up to 10 so if they want to go up to 50 cards they can't Oh, look at that. And now he can double hit for... Uh, for six if he wants, yeah. yeah. He's chosen yeah. not guess... to. Wait, he didn't attack at all. He should have just attacked. He could have <laughs> attacked, yeah. I don't know why he didn't do that. Yeah, that was a bit <laughs> strange. Leon, what are you doing? Well, he doesn't play Dark Claw very often, he said. But doesn't he play, like, any weapon Yeah. He always attack. <laughs> that was a bit kind. Uh, yeah, that yeah okay, maybe you didn't know what was going down there. Now you're mine yeah. on the Garg. 
Maybe he'll use his ability now then. Right. And the Shadow Knight as well. <coughs> For good measure. Um, mind controls here. Oh yeah, mind control would really suck, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's when you attack want attack his hero. Wait. He's doing it, he's doing okay, it. Good. If he loses this game by two health, man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know I've done I'm... that before with Serena, though, where you just like forget to attack. Oh, and yeah. oh dear! Thought there'd be a mind control. <laughs> oh, there's there's two mind controls in this deck, or three? Might be three, actually. Man, that's rough. Yeah, like best cards in the game. It's not a bad Zelda. starter deck, really. A lot of best cards in the game, yeah. That's why Saladar doesn't get many rares. <laughs> doesn't need them. Oh, well, now. Lone Wolf. Good. <laughs> now that you don't need it. Well, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. I mean, he's going to take, what, three soon. We know there's only one more um, mind control left. But it would mm -hmm. be enough to kill him. No, no, not quite. He'd take three plus... Three. You'd have one life left. Right, yeah, it's not looking good for Mr. Darkclaw. Mm. But it would look slightly better if you'd hit twice earlier. If I was Aladar right now, I'd be just waiting on that next mind control and mm. not even trying to control the board. Oh, He's done a Soul Reaper yet. instead. Add insult to injury. Should that be add heal to injury? Yeah. Card drops. Well, he's, he's still he's still in it. He's still in the fight, but... Uh, he's got, like, one turn to take him all the way down. <laughs> he needs a miracle, yeah. Absolute miracle. There's no way for him to make him lose shadow energy. Ah, transference. He might get a weapon, too. He might steal a weapon with that transference. Oh, shadow Ooh, knight. Shadow knight. Nice. Okay, that's going to be hard to uh, deal with. He's got to have a crippling... So even no. uh, Transference has been good in this deck, then. Yeah, well, I mean, it's doing fine. Well, yeah, I thought he'd had a captured prey by now. Yeah. But it's not going to be enough. He had a much better start last game. Even if we ignore him putting down Blood Moon, it was a good start. Yeah, That's a good start. That's a, it's a tough matchup. These none of the weapon heroes are good without a specialized deck. Really, in this game, you don't get it. Like they're just not as competitive to start out with. Well, the rain delay isn't going to have much impact at all. If anything, it will hinder him. <laughs> no, I think he's just maybe if there's some kind of haste or something. I think it's just kind of a no. There's no. There's I'll no just haste run in there. Cards. Um, up to ten cards. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. I'll, I'll type that in for them. Typing into nowhere. Right, so Mango wins the first one. And that hasn't come through for some reason. Okay. I typed a message that didn't go through. 
I think if I'm if I were him, I would be taking out Lone Wolf. I would be trying to get Bat Blood Moon in there, and I would be trying to get some other heal in there. Maybe the um the what's that a uh, homunculus the the healing homunculus card? Um. <laughs> Uh, oh, the Pack Beast. Pack Beast, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that. that's Lost Land, so... Uh, that that's, no, that's that? not legal. Can oh, you type to them to uh, minimum still 40 and no Lost Lands while I possibly um, reboot this... Because uh, uh, my chat's broke. So if I log off, if I log back in, it'll work. Okay. Um, right, so, let's... remove up to 10 cards, add up to 10. Minimum is still 40, no lost land cards. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And... Yeah, right, it's working again now. Chat's working again now. Cool, cool. Well, I'd say Valiant Effort by Dark Claw there. Yeah. My enter key didn't seem to be working. <coughs> uh, Dark Claw to go first. So, sorry, you can say, um, yeah, Leon to make game to answer creator goes first. My hit enter doesn't work at the moment. So you think you're gonna see a more hasty Dark Claw with the Dread Wolves? Definitely, they're nice. Yeah. And um, with Dread Wolves are they're they're not Lost Lands, yeah, right. So you could do those. Yeah, uh, Crygon's Dread fine. Drop in some Crygon's Dread. baby. They're pretty yeah. neat, actually. Crygon probably get added by everyone just for Crygon. Um, you can do that if you want. Let's check out Mr. Mr. Crygon. Yeah, so you can buff your allies if you make them take one damage yeah. in their gargoyle while they don't take any damage. He's got haste. So we might see loads of Krygons in the next game. Yeah, I think Krygon would be a good choice for both of them. I think Dreadwolf is a good choice. Um, Blood Pack Shaman is a good choice. Uh, maybe another Jeweler's Dream in there. And some Blood Moons and the Dark Claw. And Zaladar, I'd probably want... I might remove one of the Soul Reapers. Usually, only need one. Um, let's see what else I might do. Eternal Renewal, drop that. Probably yeah, get to Eternal that Renewal point. is pretty niche. I wouldn't use it in in this kind of game. You you really want like a specialized kind of feed bomb type of deck for that. Um, and then add in. Maybe a, a couple of bad Santas. Maybe um, what are those? Uh, the ones that that uh, kill your own guys to do damage. Uh, it's been a while. Let me look at. Oh, the, you, the, oh, right. You mean energy extraction? Yeah, energy yeah. extraction. That might be good. Kind of give them a little bit of burst at the end there. Uh, maybe the uh, soulbound armor. Hmm. Another mind control would be good. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, well done. already pretty solid as it is. Like, it just needs to maybe fix out some, swap out a couple of the allies too, uh, that are kind of like less good allies for some of those more 
uh, optimized three and less casting cost allies. Just the more aggressive stuff. Maybe I should have tweaked the rules a bit to say like the loser gets to change more cards than the winner. Meh. I think this is fine. It's an, it's an interesting format. It's just, you know, it's going to be limited because the, the game is balanced, but it's balanced at the competitive level once you have, like, the full range of cards at your disposal. Yeah, yeah. You know? The start of decks are going to be balanced, but I guess you're always going to have a bit, uh, the occasional bad matchup across them where one's going to have yeah. an advantage and you'd probably need to have upgraded the deck in the hope to, to beat that. Uh, yeah. But get Game one, the one that we had to have bought, was going a lot better for Dark Core. So you never know what might yeah. have happened there. Yeah. Now, the as other this... nice thing about these starter kinds of games is that um, because you can't, uh, you only have like three max of a certain card, you don't have completely optimized decks no matter what. And so you wind up with, uh, <coughs> you know, the balance is, is a little... Uh, different than it would be in a regular meta. Yeah, both Still, balance and the variety, yeah. There's a little bit more randomness in each game. Yeah, but still. Right. Yeah, you need, you need sleeves. <laughs> oh, I'm playing that. Right. Let's see. Sleeves on play mat. Play mat? What am I doing? I'm play mat. Get some adverts on for the play mats. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's late there. Yeah, it must be at least half stuff. past three. Yeah, man. Bedtime already. 3 p.m. <laughs> well, siesta time. If it was yeah. actually 3 p.m. in Spain, which is not in Spain, it's like. 9 p.m. I think. Yeah, I think it's about the same time as UK. There. They're just south of you, right? Yeah, and across a bit. They're, they're plus one. Oh, okay. Come on, Leon. I'm going to have to stamp, stamp my... Uh, Tournament organizer authoritar down on this. Say, game loss. It took too long. Not really. It's meant to be fun, but within reason. Come on, yeah. Leon. And again, it is probably harder to work out what to do with Dark Claw, but hey, that's that's part of the challenge. Yeah, I mean, there's there's less room for error with a hero like Dark Claw. But you, you know he's, he can only change 10. So you have a rough idea still of what you're going to face. So if you want to go fast, you could go like crazy fast. You could go fire snake. <laughs> I mean, fire no, snake though no, with, no, with no, bloodlust. No, no, no. You don't know, do you? I mean, if a fire snake <laughs> if, if a fire snake, snake sticks... Try and say that fast. If a fire snake sticks, if a fire snake sticks, if it does, yeah, if a fire snake sticks, then you get like three extra damage <laughs> until Zalala's upset. Yeah. Yeah, that's nothing. Whoa, yeah, but it's not Except a bit of a waste of damage on a fire snake. Yeah, might have saved the life of something else. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess you're right. Fire snake is overpowered. <laughs> four Fire Snake, four Rampant Krygon, two Wrath the Forest. There you go. Perfect. 
So you need. GDC recommends four times fire snake. I think four times wrath of the forest is is overkill. <laughs> yeah, that that actually might be a Two. good choice. <sighs> My enter key doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's that's what. <coughs> right, what the forest? Leon, Leon, are you there? Do you remember the film Leon with that that guy? What's his name? What's the name of the guy that was in it? Leon. Yeah, the French guy. Gary Oldman was in it as a baddie. Ah, uh, you create. DB. Oh, Leon the Professional. Yeah, that's it. It was called the Professional. Yeah, and some... I saw that a while ago. It had a young, a young. The assassin takes on a like a twelve-year-old girl as his uh, apprentice. Right? Is that Natalie Portman? Is she the apprentice? Uh, let me see. Yeah, 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 Natalie Portman. That's yeah. crazy. There we go. What was his name, though? The guy? The guy's character name? Leon. Yeah, the actor. Jean, Jean Reno. Ah, Jean Reno, right, yeah, he was in another good uh, French film. I forget which now. Yeah, Jean Reno, recommended. There you go, you get movie tips here as well from this. I mean, they're, they're youngsters now early, in their early 20s that haven't even experienced some of these films, these good films from the late 90s, yeah. because they'd have been too young to watch them. Yeah. Oh, it's up. A bit, um, are we ready? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's in now. Oh. Uh, I bought that conversation. Let's see what's gone going on here. Yeah. Oh, we got sleeves. we got fire snake sleeves. Oh, I'm playing oh, that. From Valadar. Leon gets rolling. There's that blood moon. Totally legal in this game. Better check check these decks now. Make sure that only ten cards have changed. While you commentate. Okay. Yep. So looks like Blood Moon, that's a good start for Leon. And we got Gargoyle. That's good. Let's see. Another Gargoyle. One of the best cards that has stayed like a good card the entire course of this game. I'm hoping for a Now You're Mine. Yep, we got it. Ouch. This is a much better start for Dark Claw. He has to start doing the damage early because Zeladar can outlast him with that, that uh, Soul Reaper. So the trick is make Zeladar desperate fast. Ooh, now he can start resourcing things recklessly because he's got that Bazaar. Speed strike. Okay, now we just need a weapon and he'll start being able to eat into Zeladar. Okay, another. This one's a foil gargoyle. So that's better. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's using them fangs. All right. Take that, gargoyle. And go oh, for Zaladar. Take that, Zaladar. And the gargoyle finish off the other gargoyle. Right. There's, so your there's plan has been foiled, just like your face. Hmm. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> 
Um, there's these little things uh, that good players do, like the math there, where he did just the right amount of damage to the gargoyle to kill it, to be able to do the optimal amount of damage to Zaladar's face as well. So he attacked Zaladar once with his weapon and uh, attacked the gargoyle once with the weapon. Yeah, those are like the differences between a skilled player and a newer player. You'll you'll make little mistakes like that, and the, the result is one damage here and there that you don't get in on the hero. Exactly, he, he did it all in the right order there. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Captured prey on Death Mage Thaddeus. It's a nice choice because now the Death Mage Thaddeus cannot use his ability, and Saladar can't play another one. Uh, it's unique. Hmm. Okay. Full moon, nice. He might, he might just take out Zaladar. Wow, with all that damage. Yeah. Not bad at all, man. He's got speed he's strike as well. Down to one. Yep. <laughs> got one hit point left at the end of this. That's pretty sweet. No weapon, but those. And you know what? He can't even be hit Saladar here. Needs that Soul Reaper, but he only has one. Beam yeah, he's not going to heal much. Yeah, that's pretty good. He he can kill those allies. No, he can't even kill those allies with what's on the board. He can yeah. almost. Very nice. So Zaladar there has gone for some Karashes. He's gone for some mm -hmm. Vermins. Uh, what else has he added in? He's added in some exaltations, maybe. Whoops, I gave something away. To kill <laughs> He's going to kill off his own allies here to try to heal a little bit, but it's going to right. stall it in one more turn at most. Or was that just a miscalculation? No, I think he, w he wants to kill his own allies. Uh, oh, nope. Guess he doesn't have it. Now he just has to hope that Dark Claw does not have a weapon in hand. That's a bad hope. Yeah, Rapid Bite might almost do it. Oh, does he does Soul have a Reaper. Soul Reaper. Back up to seven, oh, he so. He should have sacrificed his Karash. Oh, well. Would have healed more, but then he wouldn't have had it on the board, though, either. Yeah. To finish yeah, things off. Tough call. Tough call. There we go. The big teeth. teeth. Again, it's not going to quite be enough, is it? Nope, but he can't heal again. Yeah. Well, uh, right, because there's no allies in there. Yeah, and the, and the unless he added another Shriek, that can't even be destroyed, can it? Nope. So... Well, yeah. Not looking good. Great work by Mr. Dark Claw. What do you do? I'm just going to verify this oh, deck yeah. hasn't changed too much. Alright. So, ten. again, mm. they could change out 10 more cards now? Yep. Same one as before. Uh, yeah. any, any ten, yeah. Any ten from there now can be swapped out. So. Okay.
Um, Minimum 40 cards, no lost lands. <laughs> You're doing a, a little bit of tech support here, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. live on the stream. Customer service. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this beautiful woven customer service. We will stop yeah. the live stream. Feel free to just, you know, go ahead and pull up whatever admin pages you want on the Twitch stream. <laughs> Email Kyle in here live. <laughs> I see you. Right. Let's let's type in some codes for this guy, shall we? While they're while they're deck changing. So that's one all anyway. Ezio Altair his name is. Right, let's have a look. Let's look this guy up. Uh the shady dude. Let's look him up. I found his email address is funny. I won't read it out, but if you think of the word shady, then it kind of fits with this email address. Hmm. Uh, sadly, I can't reveal what it is, but I'm about to. I'll tell you after off camera. Right. Fair enough. Right. Uh. I can I can give him some uh, crystals now. <laughs> so, so just to sum up, he's got two hundred now. Email address, and so you're sending him some crystal, and we'll talk about it later off camera. That's that's just we're recapping here. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Alright, so... How are these guys doing? It's like... I'll just vamp while you, you deal with this. Yeah. I, I, I get the sense here that um, Dark Claw is, has gotten his deck a bit more aggressive. The uh, Blood Moon's helped a lot. Uh, right. It seems like he's made it a little bit more consistent with the good three casting cost allies. And... Um, so really, at this point, I would I would expect him to just be doing more of that, uh, swapping out whatever, like kind of lamer second tier allies and cards there might be in there, and trying to put some slightly better ones. Maybe we'll see the Krygons coming in this time. Um, as far as what Zaladar did, I didn't. We didn't really get to showcase a lot of it uh, because it seemed like we just saw him playing. Um, gargoyles and so I'm not sure what, what he did to his deck before but uh, it seems like it's still pretty close to the original one with maybe just a little bit of fine tuning and tweaking uh, so I'm going to hope for doubling down and getting better allies in here um, yeah I don't know what else to expect I guess we'll see well, I, I guess one thing we've always known about uh, the elementals is they, they have weak draw. I mean, until they can exploit yeah. um, uh, the, the antimatter, um, usually they are, they're they not very efficient on draw. So if Dark Claw uses Blood Moon and maybe some other um, draw cards to his advantage, then he might be able yeah. to pull the wall. Should that be woven over Zardar's uh, eyes? Uh. <laughs> the puns make yeah. up themselves. Yeah, amazing. Um, so you can't blame me. <laughs> so, I think, uh, yeah, I think Zaladar, you know, because the antimatter type of draw is really good, but it's it requires a completely specialized deck. It doesn't really work out to 
slowly build towards that in this 10 by 10 fashion, right? So that's not really an option for Zeladar. Um, so he's gone with the Bazaar in the last game. Um, I'm thinking he'll probably stick with Bazaar and just try to move towards having more allies with haste, Krygons and stuff like that, and try to just be a fast ally heavy deck. Um, and then it's just going to come down to tempo, like who gets their stuff together faster. Okay, Mango's got the game up. Okay, that's waiting. I'll go back to my um, page that can check the decks. Ezio Altair, that's a reference to Assassin's Creed, right? Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know which. <laughs> oh, there is an Ezio. Is, is that the guy, Ezio, is it Ezio? Altair, Altair, Altair is yep. the first one. Uh, Ezio is the Italian one. Ah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I was playing. I think the guy was called Ed or something. Assassin's Creed Black Black Flag. Uh, he was called okay. Ed. <laughs> Pretty lame. Pretty lame. It's not as cool as Ezio. Edward, I think his name was. Okay. Maybe that was just a character's name within the whole thing of me. Right, so Fire Snake didn't pay off last time. Yeah. Here we go. So, <coughs> Mango's gone first. Drop the bazaar again. Yeah, where were the Krygons in the last one? I don't know if anybody added any. No, doesn't look so like it from the replay. No, just gargoyles. It was all gargoyles, and. Uh... Whatever big wolf, bad wolves. The gargs are where it's at, it seems. Oh. Mango's demanding a Krygon buff right now. <laughs> a Krygon buff. He's probably still the most, like, 10th used card in the game. <laughs> so obviously he needs a buff. Well, you heard it here. Mango won't play Krygon until you buff it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Interesting, interesting changes by uh, yeah. by one of the guys that I, I try not to give away this time. Yeah, we'll wait until the game's been going a little bit more. We'll yeah. see what happens. I just want to check it's all, it's all legal in the background. Yeah, sure. All right, and uh, as I announced on the thread about this, uh, I'll put the deck lists and the changes as they went uh, on a forum page or on shadowero.net so people can see what was added, what was removed. See if you agree with that. Oh, There's exaltation. <laughs> Dang. Where'd that come from? We had no clue that was in there. <laughs> Look at that massive Thaddeus. Now Whoa, you now you're sitting on, on his it. throne. Yeah, now your mind would work pretty nice on that. Where doesn't the uh, the other control card should work too? I believe. There we go. Now you're mine. Ouch. Nicely done. Yeah. 
Okay, we're going for face now. There we go. Take that. All right, so it's a little a slower start here for Dark Claw. Seems like a closer game. Still could go either way right now. Karash, Shadow Font. We're going to start pinging the guy. Wait and see if there's another ally, I guess. Don't want to waste that second lightning strike. Dark Claw's ready to hit for six if he wants. I'll yeah, just take out that Karash. A, what's that card that saps all your shadow energy? Yeah. That would be Shadow Spawn. Yeah, that would be really awesome right now. Shriek of Vengeance, ouch. Goodbye, nice draw. Pack it there. Salador is going to be screwed without draw. If yeah, Sal so doesn't have many draw options. Got enough is bad Santa by now. I'm thinking this guy's a good player. He'd probably put a couple bad Santas in there. Oh, more Shadow Font. Yeah. We're only going to max out that ability. Keep that ability rolling. Can you get that speed yeah. strike and that what big teeth? Hulk. Can grind out some good damage. Oh, mm -hmm. he's, right, he's decided not to save it up now. Yeah. So, choices, choices. Does he take out that Hulk? Or does he just go for face and ignore that Hulk? Because the Hulk on his own actually isn't that bad, is it? So he's going to do two to you. Well, then he might have some control cards still. He yeah, might yeah. To, he might, he might yeah. have that. What's he going to do? Oh, yeah. he's going to kill the he ally. Did. Okay. I'm not sure I would have done that because I could have got 16 to the face. I mean, 6 to the face from that. Uh, yeah. What's he going to drop, though? There we go. Okay, DMT. He didn't want it. Didn't want that to be yeah. killed. A couple of allies to be snuffed out. All right. Well, uh, if for some later game damage instead of having it right now. Maybe he's holding a full moon or something. If he kept any in the deck, then you get super value from it. Ooh, super oh. ability. They won't die though. Nope. So there's potential for some reasonable damage here. Okay, so again here's where a good player who can use the Death Mage Thaddeus to ping the Karash and right. attack the face with the Bad Wolf. I wonder if he's listening yes. to the stream at the moment. And you just pointed that out. Yeah, no. We're delayed. We're delayed. I was thinking, yeah, with my it. with my bad wolf, I can uh, do three damage, which will be enough to kill him. <laughs> <coughs> but good player wouldn't do that. <coughs> it's always good to plan out the moves before you start taking them as well, isn't it? Yeah. So there's so those like little mistakes. That's like one damage here and there. And again, that that can be the difference between winning and losing in this game sometimes. So it's good to always be doing those sorts of calculations, being paying attention to those little things. Ooh. Okay. Now nobody's got draw, but it looks like uh, Dark Claws in the lead here. It's a pretty Definitely scary board. <laughs> well, yeah. well, he can do six. Seven, eight, nine, ten to face right now. Um, Plus whatever or he can pops control down, yeah. the board. Probably going to control the board and do some damage to face. Yeah, that's what I would do too. Is he going to ignore the sustain ally? Wouldn't the sustain sustain ally kill Zaladar though? Did you say he could do eleven or ten? Yeah, I would have. I would have left the ally alive actually, the sustain one, and just go for face. Vermin just sleep it sitting out there. Yeah, it will tick him down. Life. You can heal by more now. 
because he just did five damage to take out vermin. That could have been five damage to Zell's face. He'd take another one. Yeah. It would be a lot harder. But whatever. That's the thing about vermin. Like see, I mean, he can actually. I think he's balanced. Some people think he's not balanced, but he's five health, but he hurts you by one each time. He's vermin, isn't yeah. he? He's meant to be like bite, biting at your feet and stuff. Just kind of, you know, annoying yeah. vermin. But somebody's calling GG, so there we go. Looks Leon's like done it. It's a 2-1. Wow. 2-1, but nice. it's first to three, first to three. Oh, okay. So what's the, what's the changes now? Can they yeah. make more changes? Yeah. <clears throat> who um started that? Who went first in that one? I know it was random, but I think I'll just uh, view the replay and see. Yeah, I'll no, I can take a look. No, it's all right, I've, I've got it up now. Um, oh, okay. so it was. Who's that? T1. Zaladar went first. Zaladar, yeah. Right. So Dark Claw's going to go first in the next one then. Leave that. Okay. So, so that's Leon, isn't it? Interesting. So these are reasonable changes. So Dark Claw gets the edge due to the draw available, yeah. it seems. Although he didn't have loads of draw there, but what he did do is destroy the draw. That is a very yeah. um, so pro that, move. The tech there was the key. Having a tech to destroy Zell's draw. Zell wasn't expecting him to, you know, DC doesn't usually run, or Dark Claw doesn't usually run a ton of tech. No, uh, to, maybe to he wouldn't have it. if it hadn't already been in there from the starter deck. Maybe he wouldn't think to do it. Maybe starter decks can actually teach people things. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. You know, by maybe. forcing these these uh, expert players to go back to the basics, maybe they suddenly try cards they might not have bothered with before. Obviously, people will try tech cards, but sometimes. Sure. There'll be a card, you'll be like, oh yeah, that worked all right there. Maybe I will consider that in future. The power of yeah, that. I, so. I think the, the issue is like usually Dark Claw is so aggro, so streamlined that, that you don't even want to bother with any tech because it just pulls you away from what you're trying to do. Um, but here, he knows that Zaladar is depending on those bizarres and he yeah. doesn't need them as much. So... Taking them out really screws Aladar. <laughs> I wonder whether he will add like some Santas now. Thought. Yeah, I would have. I would have thought uh, Zal would have one or two Santas. So maybe we'll see those next time. I'm I'm imagining Zal's going to put some draw in this time. Mango's got an appointment. Yeah. An appointment to lose. Ooh, burn. <laughs> Ooh. Burn. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a delayed start, which wasn't really his fault. Um, come on, Leon. Come on, Leon. If the guy has to go at two all, we'll just have to have him finish another time, maybe. Should be a bit sad. Um, the game's up. I would, uh, yeah. Mango's been a good sport, though. Very patient here. Blaster Master 8. Okay. Game's Are they up. in? 
think they're in. They're in. They're in. At this stage, do you think they're still changing 10 cards each or not? So that would have been up to 30 cards. Now it's practically their own deck. Um, yeah. Unless they've decided to stick stick with some, yeah, from the outset. I don't know. Um, I mean, I would probably try to change 10 cards if I could. Um, but who knows? You might kind of paint yourself into a corner where even though there's like an optimal deck, it requires retuning the whole thing, you know? So you might just stick with what you've got or something pretty Wait. close. Uh-oh. Says Leon. DC. No, he'll be um, back. He, he, it's probably yeah, one of those, um, you know, hiccup. yeah, hiccup yeah. thing. It reconnects nowadays, though. That's that's a blessing Ooh. compared to how it used to. Uh, that's nice. Down. Yeah, that that used to be the worst. I think I I had bad internet service for like two years that I played this game. And so I never got above like a 250 rating for the longest time because ah. I just disconnect all the time. <laughs> Rage quit all the time, you mean? Yeah. It doesn't count yeah. if you actually take the plug out of your router as bad oh. internet service. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, once I got like better internet, I was I was all of a sudden like in the you know, 300 plus range. Yeah. That's it. There's a graph between good internet and high rating. And, uh, yeah, there is definite correlation. Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's been destroyed. Ha <laughs> Well, it's, it's not the same as destroying someone's draw, though, is it? Ooh, antimatter. Okay. Oh, right. He has okay. gone for it this time. Let's we'll see what else he did. Maybe he threw in a couple of those discard cards. That could be fun. Gargoyle. Got a nice start here from Zaladar. You're looking through the cards. Yeah, yeah, sorry. That's all right. Now you're mine. Pretty consistently taking out those gargoyles. This has been fun to watch. It's nice to see a, a game that is like totally different than a standard metagame. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm looking forward to the next ones as well. If I mean, there's a chance exactly the same heroes will come out again, but there's a very good chance it won't be the same. We'll see more of this kind of from starter deck to tweaked perfection. Mm -hmm. And see see which cards from the starter deck live on as well to like game three or game four. It'd also be interesting to see in this kind of format if some people will do things like, I don't know, try to um, try to stick with, try to get towards that optimal competitive build, even if there's a really weak middle tier build that you have to go through to get there. Yeah, yeah. So you like intentionally lose game two because you're aiming for game four or something. Right, right, yeah. Ouch. Let's see if he can take care of that murderous Hulk. Otherwise, this game is over. Mm, that's not the card you wanted. No. Oh, it's not looking good. Hard, no. Her. Maybe he was counting on that bizarre too. Yeah, I wonder if Leon kind of uh, planned on letting um, 
you know, uh, Manga do the drawing for him. Ouch. Uh, that's not good. Yeah, that's staring down a lot of damage. <laughs> nice. Hey, Crygon's in the deck Crygon. after all. I thought he needed buffing. I didn't buff him. Wow, injures his own. Um, this is the kind of time you'd really like to have a full moon, I think. Oh, yeah. That would be nice right now. Boom. Wow. Yeah. Leon scoops now, then there will be time for that fifth game. <clears throat> More bashful than Crygon. Yeah, ouch. No draw for Leon that whole game. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, I think uh, it's random this next yeah. one, right? Yeah. So let's do Mango Creates random. Yeah. There we go. Good. Right. Right, right, right. So it went to two all. I bet at the start we weren't thinking it would be two all. We were thinking landslide Zala. But Leon pulled some stuff out. Did some good stuff. It's very yeah. close. It's pretty Go close either, and either way. Set of games here. Okay. And there's it's kinda neat because you're seeing all these like you know, we start with starter decks, but these are definitely like not noobs playing. Yeah. You can tell that they're, you know, doing things right with what they've got. It's kind of fun. <coughs> My enter key is working again. Can't believe it. Can't believe Yay. it. Yay! The good thing about this format is if you want to play it with a friend as well, for fun, you can totally do that. So I invent formats for people to try, just, you know, pick a hero each, start with the starter deck, play one game, then change up to yeah. ten cards, play the next one. You could even do a, uh, like a booster draft or something, if you had like a friend that uh, is just starting into the game, you could... Don't you have like a, a way to roll up a booster? Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, I've got something on my website where I where I can do that. The thing about the boosters is though, uh, you might be unlucky and the cards that you get aren't legal for your hero. So, right. uh, but so you still get a couple of them, or something. Yeah, you like still that. get a couple, but we end up having to give quite a lot of boosters. But well, that's fine. Uh, just give a lot of boosters, and hopefully, then you'll get some valid ones you can try. But it's a yeah. bit of faff, really. I mean, you, you you could say you can add up to six, ten commons or something if you if your friend hasn't got a full play set. You don't have to say ten from anything, do you? You could say uh, yeah, ten commons, right. and then yeah, ten commons. they've probably got all the commons. They can, they can buy up the the right cards with the gold, and yeah, yeah well, that could work. If you're an experienced player and they're new, then give them some shadow crystals. Or I'll yeah, give them some. Good. Let me know their username. I'll send them some. Then they can get some commons, get rolling. Play this fun format, the Tweak Master format. Yeah, that's good. Almost ready. I hope. Tough choice, though. Got to... Uh, Think what? Because Leon won two in a row, but now he's lost one. So I bet now he's thinking, huh, something went wrong there. I am going to tweak. Whereas he's going to be adding draw. Yeah. Both of them have been screwed by draw in one game. <laughs> yeah, I've been maxing it out from game two. I think. Draw, draw, yeah. draw. Obviously, um, Zal doesn't have that many options for draw at the start. 
Yeah. Uh, no bad Santas though, that is kind of weird. We haven't seen any bad Santas yet. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just one of the best cards in the game. I mean... I think it is still the most used card in games. Uh, players involving the top 100 rated players... Sorry, games involving the top 100 rated players. I gather stats just involving those sure. games and the I top used almost card. almost everyone has at least one Bad Santa in their deck. Yeah, right? the top used card is Bad Santa across all of them. Yeah, because it doesn't really matter what, character, what hero you're playing, there's going to be this desperate moment where you wish you had a Bad Santa to dig you out of it. And it's great for those moments. Even if it gives Four the other guy three, yeah. You you can hopefully yeah. dig and do something on your turn. Yeah. Or there'll be a moment early in the game or some point in the game where you can get unilateral three draw out of it and it, it really changes things. That's a great so. name of a player on the screen there. E F K D your mom. F E F K D. <laughs> And uh, sure. miss playing Mistress Zoe. Come on, Leon. Come on, man. Yeah. Tense, though. It's a tense moment. Will Mango make his appointment? Oh, this is cheeky. <laughs> Mango's going to be playing very fast. I know. <sighs> will the man go or will he stay? It's a question. Is he even a man? Or is he a mango? Will the mango go? Come on, Leon. Where are you? Ah. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I wish I felt better. <laughs> I thought of delaying this, but I just wanted to you know, see it. Really looking yeah, forward to it. Come on, Leon. He's going to make him late. Why did Mango say in the chat that he has to go soon? That's just cheeky. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, either they, they do or they don't play. No. There's a third option. But well, we just turn <laughs> off the stream and we don't know. So it'll be Schrodinger's. Schrodinger's. Uh, don't know whether they did or they didn't. Schrodinger's terminated. <laughs> yeah. Did they play or not? Just turn off the stream, you they never both, know. They both simultaneously win and uh, lose. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Wow. Yeah, that would that be works. interesting. There you go, a bit of quantum mechanics for our viewers there. We're interested in mm -hmm. that kind of thing. <clears throat> Seriously. Come on. Leon has rage quit. Maybe he has rage quit. Does he even know there's another game? <coughs> <coughs> I've run out of drink. I just uh, am checking out my new humble bundle games now. Oh, what you <laughs> bought? What you bought? I got I got the monthly thing, so it just turned over now. Oh, see. you subscribe to it, do you? Monthly uh, games. Yeah, I just did the first time, so now I've got right. a whole bunch of new games. Oh, poor Manga. Poor Manga. Have we lost the Leon? Maybe he's just thinking, like, really hard. Okay. Maybe. Well, I say. He's in. Maybe we give it. He's in. Uh, it's finally uh, in. You, you say, give it one more second. He's in. Yeah. 
Give it one more second and then give it to Vanky. I'll give him till the end of this sentence, will, which will not end until he's joined the game. Don't you agree, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. You guys, he's in. <clears throat> Sound prepared. Okay. Right, well, I'm just going to say good luck to both in text speak. Gial. Gial to both. Text speak. I should have written lol or ruffles. Bad luck to both. <laughs> oh, snap. Now I just cancelled you out. Mm. Now you're mine, though. Just cancelled that out. Ouch. Touche. <laughs> Alright, so the, the crash has, has gone away. But now the gargoyle is like, nah, you can't get me, no. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's more where that came from. Yeah, more gargoyles. There's a lot of gargoyles. In this gargoyle, game. gargoyle's MVP of this whole thing. Mm -hmm. There's the Krygon, and Krygon's gonna buff gargoyle. Nice. And then we can kill off that other gargoyle with the ability. Combo Wombo. Yeah, that's a good start. And if he's got the antimatter, he'll start drawing. And this is starting to look a lot more like a standard uh, discard Zeladar. Yeah, he may have merged entirely into a uh, proper discardy one. Yep. So it's probably a much smoother progression to uh, a completely standard deck that's that's very competitive for Zaladar. Murderous Hulk is the one thing that's a, a little different. Whereas poor Dark Claw has a harder time to morph to a standard deck because there isn't really a st one standard deck for him. Yeah. Oh, there's the Dreadwolf that finally showed up and take out that Krygon. Yep. Nice. And he gains one base attack. Yep. Not to be uh, sniffed at, sneezed at, or sniffed or sneezed yeah. at, really. You shouldn't do either of those. Any yeah. kind of thing with your nose should not be done at, that, at this point. It's impolite. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got that Brimstone Devourer finally showed up. So now we got like a full on discard deck. And the Hulk is hulked um, up. I'm wondering if maybe an energy extraction is in there too. Uh, probably not the spirit armor yet, but, but yeah, everything else. What's happening with this uh, resource curve? Ooh, Stardust Extractor. That's probably a good choice on here, too. Right, he's in a real good shape now. I mean, Discard Zal has been one of the top decks for a long time anyway, so Dark Claw's mm. always going to have trouble here. If he's managed to morph into a, a full Discard Zal, yeah, Dark Claw's going to struggle. Okay. So killing his draw a little bit there. That's probably a good choice. He's gonna get pummeled. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, that change to Brimstone Devourer, giving him the uh, five health. I think he's kind of gotten to a nice balance point now. I know he was like buffed and then nerfed and then buffed a tiny bit. I think he's kind of at the right spot now. Yeah, it does not look good for Dark Claw. No, Mr. Wolfie hops <laughs> down. Death from above can at least deal with something. You can get rid of that yeah. pesky guy, that's alright. Uh, the, the, uh... the others are going to be pretty uh, stubborn. Yeah, I don't think this game is going well for him. 
You know what I haven't seen much of is uh, mind controls. I wonder if they're still in no, there. No, no, good question. This is actually, yeah. There's the antimatter. Nice timing. Zell's got a, a pretty solid draw right. card and board kind of thing going on. Full right moon now. here will save him a little bit, but he's just not got the resources even to take yeah, advantage. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, like a he, rain delay, he, if he'd still got that in there, would uh, <coughs> block a bit of damage. Not doing anything. A rain delay. That'd be weak at this point. Go captured prey. It would only be blocking four damage. Gargoyle. All right, well, you yeah, might be able to no build drama, from this. No weapons. That's the problem. We know yeah. he's got some regenerations. Yeah. So if you can control the rest of that board, but I guess that brimstone's going to go to face and ignore the gargoyle because it can't really yeah. pick it off by and much. And Zephyr can tank for days right now because he's going to have that Soul Reaper. It's going to be fine for him. Yep, there you go. Oh, he, he looked out there yeah. with the brimstone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. just going for face now. And Dark Claw's got no no choice but to control the board and if he can, and he doesn't seem to be able to. Alright, staved it off for a little while. Capture oh. Prey, another one, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting, takes none back. He's gonna eventually die to Zaladar's ability. <clears throat> mm hmm he needs a weapon, man. He can't even use any of his shadow energy. Oh, uh, exaltation. Okay, I guess he can there die you. to that uh, vermin. Ouch. Okay. Ouchie. Mm. Oh, I wonder if he left the rabbit bite in. The sal deck is looking like halfway between a um, like a standard discard deck and an elementalis deck, actually. He's finally found... That, but he forgot probably that he doesn't have a uh, speed, speed strike. strike. Yeah. It's not good enough. No, I mean, he's dead. <laughs> wow, there we go. I'm not going to type anything on this screen because it'll obscure that at the end. Well played yeah. to both. Yeah. Mango has done it with Zaladar. I think most people would have predicted that, but Leon put up a valiant effort. Yeah. For those watching live here or watching on YouTube, what do you think? What would you have changed? I will put the changes uh, maybe in the description of the uh, YouTube video or on a separate post somewhere. But chip in with what changes you would have made to the Dark Claw. Could he have had a chance if you'd have changed something? Uh, what are your thoughts, Bob? Uh, changes to Dark Claw? I mean, I think the thing that killed him was lack of draw. So whatever he did with his deck, he pulled himself away from draw enough, or he just got unlucky. Well, I can reveal that. now is his, his end version still only had three Blood Moon. Uh, the Wolven Trackers originally in there are gone. So actually, the okay. only draw that he left in there was the Blood Moon, three Blood Moon. That's just not enough oh. draw, is it? Yeah, that's not that's 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 bad. That's really bad. Uh, he never ever would, maxed up to four blood moon. Maybe he doesn't own I four. Have, I would have four blood moon and two or three bad Santas. I think in uh in that kind of deck. Yeah, there's no sack lambs <laughs> either. So yeah. whereas the Zaladar ended up with three antimatter, uh, some false blood cultists as well. Yeah. So, and okay. status extractor, so he ended up with more draw ultimately. Um, okay. So probably draw was was the key there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <coughs> so it's it fun to see the difference over time. I'll ask Mango when he can do the next uh, 
looks like he's got to run right now. <laughs> so maybe yeah. We can talk to him later. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, we should wrap up and say next time it'll be uh, probably winner stays on, unless Mango's not free, and then it'll be another two uh, people taking part with random heroes. And eventually we'll have one, uh, well, not necessarily one undefeated winner. Well, there might be because one guy will stay on until eventually he fights one guy who fights him at the end and wins. That person's then undefeated. Be are you going to do random heroes or are you going to be uh, constraining it like no Zao, no Dark uh, No, no, it'll always be random. Uh, okay. I, I won't so have a diminishing pool. All Zals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be more Zals. Maybe we will diminish the pool, I don't know. Uh, well, people can give feedback on that. But I, I was thinking originally just stay random. Okay. So, yeah, Fair see enough. you in episode two whenever that may be, everybody. Thanks for watching. And thanks for joining me, Bob. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was fun. Cheers. Bye, everyone.